Alright guys, uh, the Iceman WWE Ice is here. I'm going to do a video about remembering Tony Gurria. Uh, right now he's still with WWE. Uh, he works in the, the back. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen him come on a number of times. If you know who he is, and when there's big fights and this and that, he comes out with Slaughter and everybody else and, and tries to uh, take everybody away. But in any event, it's about uh, Tony Correa. Uh, it's called Remembering Tony Correa. And I do remember him, and I'm going to get that a little later because I did see him live in Harvard Civic Center. But anyway, Tony left New Zealand in 1972 and was signed by Vince McMahon Sr. Uh, to the WWF, World Wide Wrestling Federation. Um... He teamed up with the likes of Haystack Calhoun. Um, they faced Mr. Fuji and Tanaka. Um, uh, he had many partners throughout his career. As a matter of fact, he teamed up with Dean Ho and eventually won the tag team titles uh, from Fuji and Tanaka, but they did end up losing that tag team title belt to... Uh, the Valiant Brothers, Jimmy and Jerry. There was three, Jimmy, Jerry, and Johnny. Uh, but they did lose them to uh, Jimmy and Jerry. He also did some singles competition for a few years. Um, and then he ended up teaming up with Larry Zabisco. Uh, they ended up winning the tag team titles again, defeating uh, Yukon Lumberjacks only to lose again to the Valiant Brothers. Um, but Tony Gurria in his own right, um, if you watch it in the late 70s, early 80s, he was on he was on uh, WWF Superstars. Um, he was pretty much on every week. He was one of those guys, I mean, back then, he he's not a jobber, but he was on there all the time, and this is how it was back before Vince Jr. ended up uh, taking over the reins of, uh, from his dad. So, anyway, um, I really thought he became a household name basically around 1980-81 where him and Rick Martell sort of gelled together. And uh, uh, basically these two guys, I mean... Uh, they were tag team champions twice. And um, Tony Gurria overall, as a tag team partner, had the belt five different times with numerous opponents. Uh, I believe it was Rene Goulet, Larry Zabisco, uh, Dean Ho, uh, Rick Martel twice. So uh, we, we know pretty much go from there. They had some really, really good feuds, Martel and Gurria, uh, especially against uh, the Samoans, Afa and Sika, who were managed by uh, Captain Lou Abano. Uh, they also had feuds against uh, the Moondogs. I don't know if everybody remembers the Moondogs, Rex and King. And then they did bring in a third Moondog later on uh, named Spot. But uh, Gurria, in his own right, uh, was a good wrestler. He had a long, it was like 35 years of wrestling. and uh, But I think he was most prominent when he did team up with uh, Rick Martel. Uh, I want to point out back in 1981, uh, there was a wrestling show in the Hartford Civic Center here in Connecticut. Um, I ended up getting front row seats, which is the only time I ever did. And I took my mom because she loved watching wrestling. And we had front row seats. Martel and Gurria were trying to get the belts from Fuji and Mr. Saito at the time who had the tag team titles. And I was so much hoping that Martel and Gurria won the belts. They did not win it, uh, but it, the show was great. Matter of fact, the uh, WWF champion back then was Bob Backlund. Uh, he faced off against Don Morocco, and the funny part about this was, I saw Morocco hit Backlund, and Backlund 
flying against the uh, the ropes, but I was in the front row. I saw when he went to hit him, he never really did. It was like space. There was air in between it. And that's when I, you know, it's a funny thing. That's when I first found out that wrestling was not real wrestling. But you guys got to realize it's entertainment, and these guys are athletes. But, um, like I said, I, you know, right now Tony Guerrero is still with the, now the new WWE with Vince McMahon Jr. Um, he does work in the back. Uh, he's been there over 30 something years. As a matter of fact, I believe in the Hall of Fame in 1997, he teamed up with his son and, uh, Matter of fact, I know I, I I did make some notes, and I hate looking at notes, but um, he did team up with his son, and I believe they did win that tag team match. But in any event, you know Tony Guerrero was a good guy. He was from Auckland, New Zealand. Um, I watched him so many different times, and um, not until he hooked up with Rick Martel who went later on on bigger and better things and he's going to be coming up in another video I'm going to do because I'm trying to do some older wrestlers because I was asked to do that so but not until he did team up with Rick Martel um, did he really get really noticed and you guys got to realize back then when people won titles they held them for a really long time if you watched a uh, title match or, uh, you know, whatever on uh, TV superstars or, you know, whatever back then, which they did have, titles never changed. So, but nowadays, titles change in a day. You have a re uh, rematch clause in your contract. Back then, they never did that. And that was with Vince McMahon Sr. And um, he sort of kept the commercialized stuff out of it. He was just strictly with wrestling. And uh, he had, you know, Vince Sr. did a really good thing. And everybody's got to realize this too. He he led up for Vince McMahon Jr. And he was the announcer for Vince Sr. And if everybody watched uh, any of those wrestling matches or, or any of the back videos, you saw how Vince McMahon uh, Jr. was. He was a big fan of Bob Backlund and this and that. But um, now uh, Vince Jr. has uh, monopolized the wrestling business. But uh, in any event, this video is about Tony Guerrilla, a really, really good wrestler. Probably not rated as good as he should be. Um, and that's probably because it was a date and time that he was in wrestling so but in any event we go from here we go from there we got another one coming uh, tomorrow uh, tonight TNA Impact watch it uh, I'm gonna do my review after the show I hope it impresses me as much as it did last week so guys take it easy peace out WWE ice this the original naturally ice this guys what are you gonna do when WWE as this comes for you and it's you you copier see you later guys so long